Get ready, because this is year six of daily vlogging. Good morning, good morning. It is 10.56, so I've been working for about two hours now. I did realize, though, that I've got to brush my teeth this morning, so I just <laughs> just went and did that. Um, I'm watching Star Kid. I watched the VHS Christmas Carol earlier, and then now I'm watching Black Friday. So, anyway, Nola, she's been very cuddly, very cuddly today. Oh, that's right. I technically did that first clip, but I couldn't say anything because I was afraid I would scare. So I've just finished work. It's 5.10, um, which is great. I literally kid you not, because I've been so cautious with food today. Fortunately, I've been fine, but I just, I don't want to take any risks um, if something was irritated. I, cause, okay, I don't think I mentioned this yesterday, but well, I mentioned a little bit how my grandma had something, my mom has something, most likely I do. So that's called, well, there's diverticulitis and then there's diverticulosis. So essentially, diverticulosis can turn into diverticulitis. Now, what they told my mom is different than what I read online. What my mom was told is that diverticulosis is where, well, regardless what it is, is you have these like, not nodules, but you have these things on your lower intestine that can get irritated. And now the question is what irritates it? You don't really know, like it kind of depends. So for a lot of times though, what all three of us have dealt with is like sometimes you would eat something and you would be completely fine. And that's the thing too, is I want to clarify, it's not the stomach. It is not your stomach that hurts at all. And so that at least helps me a little bit to not be like, no, you know, you're not sick because that would be different. Is it's literally like your low, like your lower intestine, like, like below your stomach, way below your stomach. So you know that that's not it. And so, um, yeah, like sometimes food will cause them to be irritated, but sometimes it's not, it's unlike an allergy. So it's not like, oh, every time I eat such and such, or most times when I eat such and such, this happens. That's not what it, like, it can be completely random. And so I wonder if mine is more tied to anxiety and stress. Cause as I said a little bit yesterday, you know, I had been worried about Nola, like hoping she was okay, like excited to get home to her and all of that. And so then once you're home and I saw that she was fine and she was okay, it's like, okay, then that stress, that anxiety goes away, but then your body sort of relaxes, right? Anyway, um, so yeah, so that is, so diverticulosis is when I think, those become irritated a lot more frequently or they're, I don't know. I don't really know the whole difference, but I do know that my mom has now been diagnosed with it. And I think my grandmother was diagnosed with it and everything is adding up to the fact that I probably would be diagnosed with it too. Um, my mom got officially diagnosed when she had her colonoscopy recently, which she didn't have the colonoscopy because of that. She just had to get one of like her first one of like routine or whatever. And so they, you know, she, I think she brought it up or something and then they, they knew to look for that as well. But anyway, I don't want to go through that anytime soon. So I'm hoping that I could just tell a doctor, hey, there are two people that I know of in direct lineage to me that have dealt with it. Um, so... <laughs> I'm thinking that's what it is. And, you know, when I get much older and I need to have a colonoscopy, then we can rule that out. Anyway, um, so yeah, there's a whole ton of information you likely did not need or want to know. However, I thought I would say it because this is my vlog and we share everything here, um, pretty much everything. So I, I was going to read or maybe I, st well, I don't know. So this is the next book that's on my list. It's a middle grade like mystery book, but the 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 words are really really big however i have really heard so many good things about this new wednesday series on netflix wednesday adams and i've seen a whole ton and i just i don't want to it's not really a show where like a ton of stuff gets spoiled at least not that i know of but i don't want to have it spoiled for me so I think I'm going to turn that on and because I think it's only eight or ten episodes. Not that I would watch it all tonight, but maybe through today and over the course until like Monday, I can watch it all. Um, so yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do because it looks so good. And Jenna Ortega looks like she plays Wednesday so well. And like the costuming looks incredible. Like I've heard so many good things about it and I think it looks great. So... I'm excited. I'm like, I'm so excited to watch it. I've been so excited for it to come out. 
like I I I know that it's looked so good and I'm oh I'm so excited. Also, thought I would update everyone real quick too that I still have not found anyone to edit my new intro. So I think that's going to fall to me. So this new intro is going to be terrible. I just want everyone to know that it's going to be super simple and that yeah, that's just the opening was incredible. Oh my gosh, so good. I'm so excited. You have no Never idea. Mind. I'm watching the whole thing tonight. I have two episodes left. It's like 10, 10 03. So I don't care if I'm up late. This is what's going to happen. Had, I'm on the last episode. I had a bad feeling. I had a bad feeling. I was like, I think she's thinking of the wrong person. Although granted, I don't think this person knows what they're doing. I don't think, I don't think they know, but not totally, not totally sure. I like, but then like, there's this whole thing with like her delusions, like or not delusions, her, her, her like visions that she's having. There are people who are like, maybe they don't actually know, like she's she's not actually seeing things correctly. So I don't know. Like I have, I have no idea. Or maybe it is right. We don't know. This is seriously gonna be such a wild final episode. I can't even. I can't. I can't. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to think. This is going to be so wild. I don't know what to expect. It's, oh, this actor is doing a phenomenal job. Someone please give him an Emmy. Holy crap. I'll never forget experiencing that for the first time right there. That was incredible. That was holy crap. So I finished it. Incredible. Please, please go watch it. Please go watch it. Um, It's honestly pretty appropriate for like I won't say all ages, but there's like, there's only like a few swear words in there and they're not bad. They're not terrible. And then for like gore and stuff, there's like this tiny bit and like the CGI like monster and stuff. So like if there's someone who's scared by that, then no, but oh, <sighs> anyway, um, one of the actors, well, Jenna Ortega did phenomenal as Wednesday and everyone was great. But there's one actor in particular that I was talking about in that last one that I was like, wow. I was like, that switch right there that they just did, that dessert, like, that was incredible. Like, I would do anything, even though I was already, like, thinking it, as I said, well, part of me. And then I was like, is that it? I don't know. Like, could she, um, oh my god, that was, that switch was phenomenal. Now that it's nearly midnight, and I really need to go to bed. Ah, why? Nolan made a very loud sound. Anyway, I'm gonna end this vlog here. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoy it on the social media. It's in the description. Love you all.